G'day. Gatekeepers, creators, and curators. An evolution of opportunity. G'day, g'day, g'day. Not so long ago, it was the gatekeepers who determined the fate of just about every industry. Because the cost of entry and the barriers to entry were so high, only those that could afford it were able to enter the market. And as they did, they then controlled who else had access to the market who was able to come and go. Think any industry you like. Think media, think transportation, think finance. But then, as those costs to entry, those barriers to entry came down, then anyone was able to get into those markets. The tools and resources, largely thanks to technology, became accessible to many, many more people. And as a result of that, if you were willing to build, if you were willing to create, you could enter the marketplace. And you would imagine that that becomes a pretty democratic space where anyone can come. And it's true to an extent, but only if you're a builder, only if you're a creator. What if you don't have the creativity? What if you aren't able to build stuff? You're still excluded from that space. But not really, because what happens is, as those creators start building a lot more stuff, there's a lot more stuff out there. And as a result of that, people who aren't building and aren't creating and need to use those services, those tools, those resources, they need curators. They need someone to curate the space for them to let them know where to go. And anybody can be a curator. You do not have to be an expert on that particular technological field or that particular marketplace to be a curator. You can just curate your list based on what you believe and that is going to be relevant to your audience, to your people. And this is where people get confused. They think if you're going to be a curator of content, a curator of marketplaces, a curator of uh, alternative coins, whatever it is, people think they have to be the ultimate expert in that area and they have to achieve massive scale. But think about it. Anybody who asks you for a recommendation, you are their curator. You are curating stuff for them. So you don't need to have a wealth of knowledge to be a curator. You just need to have a little bit more knowledge than the people around you to show them alternatives. You're not telling them what's right or wrong categorically. You're saying, here's what I know. Let me share it with you. This might help you if you're like me. So if you are not a gatekeeper, and if you're not really a creator or a builder, don't despair, because there is a massive opportunity for curators, and the curator only needs to curate within a given market or a given group of people. You don't need to have massive wide adoption to be a successful curator, and in doing that, you can still provide massive amounts of value to your audience. All right, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time, and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.